Hi, so fucking drunk, back again with yet another attempt at a beer review. The one I've got to review just now is, and it's a first for me, and it's a Czech beer, and it's a Budweiser, and it's an imported dark lager. 4.7 on the Richter scale for this bad boy. Now, I did not know until someone had posted up a comment, I think it was on my Budweiser, Budvar uh, Pilsner, that you could, have you ever tried the dark one? I didn't know it existed. Myself, Hamden Donny, Prag Stevie, were all in the Czech Republic a few years back. We never saw any dark beer. Dark lager anyway. So this is an absolute first for me. Uh, so here we have the bottle crown. It's got a little bit of a uh, gold writing on sort of like bronzy brown uh, on the bottle cap so anyway I'm going to just stick this in the glass have a go at it, I, I do not know what I'm going to expect here at all to be honest with you so anyway, here's a pour of the dark lager mmm, it's half dark a little bit ahead of isn't it Actually looks like <laughs> that actually looks like a porter, to be honest with you. But the, you you can see the sort of reddish tinge at the side of the glasses uh, at the glass. I hope you can see that anyway, because I can. So anyway, I'm going to go in here. It actually looks like a mild or a porter, to be honest with you, with the eyes. That's what I'm looking at. But a dark lager. It's a first for me anyway. So anyway, I'm going to go in here for the nose. See what I can. Come Well, right away you're getting that, uh, you're getting that lager, that Czech lager smell that they've got. A little bit of a, uh, this is where it gets interesting. Roasted malt in there. A little bit of borderline, like a, a little bit of coffee. Not not too strong a coffee, something like a like a mellow birds. Remember the old mellow birds, the coffee that no one would ever drink. Uh, mellow birds sort of smell. And a nice nice uh, well, I wouldn't say a nice nice smell of uh, smell of like like chocolate, like cheap chocolate you would buy like in a, a a bargain sort of shop. But anyway, it smells intriguing. And plus the fact you've got the the sort of lager smell through it as well, so it's actually the brains uh, kind of intrigued by it. I wonder what the taste buds will make of it. So anyway, so fucking drunk going in here for a Budvar Dark four point seven on a Richter scale. It's not too bad. I'll eat that. That is really, really nice. You've got the caramel that comes up to meet you. Nice bit of the, it's weird to say, like grassy grain. It's almost lager like bite to it. And of course, you've got like a lot of nut in there. It's got a nice nutty, very much so like uh, your cheap chocolate has now been introduced to like hazelnut. Likes are uh, very very similar to uh, a Nutella type creaminess about it. Really, actually quite nice. This I, I, I did not know what to make of this, but this is actually quite nice. There's a little bit of grassiness in there as well. A little bit of. On the tip of the tongue, the more you get into it, the roasty malt is coming up as well. Like I said, the, the coffee note in it as well. It's really, really weird, but in the same way, very, very intriguing how they've managed to get a 
a nice cut of uh, brown, nutty, roasty malt beer and put it in with a lager or pilsner type uh, taste. It's it's amazing how this is done. I, I bought this recently, I, I think I got it in Morrison's to be honest with you, and I, I think it was about two quid a bottle and I, I thought, right, okay, two quid a bottle. I can pick up the regular Budvar cheaper than that. But I thought, I'm going to have a go at this. Because someone had mentioned it, have you tried the Budvar Dark? And I hadn't. I hadn't tried it. But it's actually, it's unusual. And it's a nice unusual. So I'm going to get the eye furniture on here and see what it has to say on a bottle. It's a Budweiser Budvar, imported dark lager. Usual. Bottled and brewed in uh, Budweiser in the Czech Republic. The finest available ingredients are transformed into Budweiser Bark, uh, Budweiser, uh, Budvar's dark lager uh, by the devotion of the brewers. Art is so long, cherished in our brewery. The result, a lager with an ultimate flavour straight from the heart of darkness. Hmm, kind of like that. Experience the magic every time you take a drink. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's got a convert here anyway. I wish I had a... I wish when I was in... With the two reprobates in Prague. I'd have seen that. I would, I would have had a go at that. Imagine getting that from the source. On draft. But lovely. I know there's a, a lot of uh, Budva haters out there. They don't like... Uh, Czech beer. They don't rate it all that much. But to be honest with you, Czech beers are really, really good. Look at that, this is dark as 2 in the morning. It looks like a pint of mild. That is worth picking up. Really is worth picking up. Mm. I love that creamy nuttiness you're getting in that. Roasted malts and then it's got that heckle and chide, uh, heckle and chide. Jekyll and Hyde even. Jekyll and Hyde snatched it. Let's get the laggery note in there as well. Is that, I think the lager uh, hop is sars. There's got to be sars in that because it's got that twist. It's got you one way and then it goes, ha ha! It's a lager. <laughs> and it gets you the other way. So anyway, if you see that, the Budva, the dark lager, 4.7 on a Richter scale, you've got to pick that up. You really have to go, you really do have to pick that up because it is superb. I didn't think I was going to enjoy this, but believe me, I have enjoyed this immensely. So anyway, I'm going to give it the Boudoir Dark Lager. I'm going to give that a Sofa King Trunk rating of. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. So anyway, if you've seen it, out there sitting on the stale on itself on don't just buy one bottle buy two bottles if you like lager and you dabble in the dark side the odd time and have your dark beers as well you're gonna love this and even if you are a, a, a beer drinker and you don't drink lagers pick it up anyway don't be scared by the word lager on it dark lager because it's got lovely it's got lovely beer notes in there as well, like your caramels and your nuttiness and your roastiness. Stout drinkers are going to love this. And your beer drinkers will love this as well, as well as your lager drinkers. Your lager drinkers should experiment more. So anyway, if you see it, buy. Pick one or two of them up. Lovely stuff. So anyway, this is Sofa King Drunk. Yet again. Having another beer. So anyway, if you've had a go at the Budvar Dark Lager, you liked it, you didn't like it, drop a line below. And if not, Slangy Villa. I'll see you in our beer review. Ciao for now.